What's up guys, it's Spence with Live Bearded, and today I wanna to talk about beard trimming. Now, when it comes to having a beard, growing a beard, and grooming a beard, knowing how to trim a beard honestly might be the hardest thing to figure out. And there's tons of things we can be talking about today when it comes to beard trimming, but for the purpose of this video, I wanna keep it super simple and talk about how to trim a beard neckline. All right guys, sometimes it's most helpful to learn what not to do. So when it comes to your beard neckline, do not trim this line in on your jawline. We see this happen all the time. It's honestly a mistake that a lot of guys make, and it's terrible. It's gonna make your beard look way too thin, way too small, especially from the side profile. And really to further explain this, my chin is right here, right? If, if I were to shave on my jawline, my chin's actually right here, right? And it runs the back corner of my jaw. If I were to sh shave here on my jawline, it's gonna leave this tiny little beard. And from the side profile, that's really just gonna be much too small. And when your beard's really short and you're just growing it out, it's super important to get these lines correct so that as your beard grows longer, your beard is set. So do not shave on your jawline. All right, so when you're ready to define your neckline, Really, it's pretty simple. You wanna trim this line in where your head connects to your neck. That's typically right above the Adam's apple. So my Adam's apple is here, this line comes in right underneath. And what this allows you to do is keep the hairs on your full cheeks, keep the, some of the hairs on your neck, and you want those hairs to really grow in to give you a full beard. Again, if you trim that too high, beard's gonna be way too small. With these additional hairs, especially as you grow longer, those are gonna really fill in and give you the nice full beard. And when it comes to actually defining this and trimming this line in, what I like to do is grab a beard trimmer. And again, you wanna trim this in where your head connects to your neck, right above the Adam's apple. A good way to tell if your beard's shorter, if you're just growing out, you can actually kind of fold your neck, your head down and where your head and neck crease that's a good kind of line to kind of base off of. And what you really wanna do is you wanna start in the middle, uh, again, right about the Adam's apple, and then go across, more or less a straight line, and then when you get to the corners, you can choose whether you square those off or round those. But I'll uh, clean this up a little bit so you guys can see in real time kind of how I take care of my beard. And one thing to note is when your beard's shorter, this line is super important because everybody can see it. So all my guys out there growing a beard or with a shorter beard, getting this line right is hugely important as you're growing your beard and when it's shorter. As you get longer length, as your beard gets longer, you know, six months growth, eight months growth, 12 months growth, you're not even gonna see that line. So my guys out there growing long beards, take care of that line and then once you get to a certain length and you don't really see it, then it's really up to you whether you continue to trim these hairs. If you're just growing your beard out and you're going to set your lines, obviously you're gonna do this for the first time. And then really it's personal preference as terms of how often you check back in and clean this up. For me personally, about once a week, once every couple weeks, I'll go in with my trimmers and really just try to clean this line up a little bit and then trim any of the hairs beneath my beard kind of growing into the, the chest beard. So uh, grab your trimmers and let's give it a shot. And so what I like to do again with the trimmers, I like just looking straight up, lift your head up, and then this way you're starting in the middle and you're working yourself to the sides. And when you get to the ends, kind of curl them up just a little bit. Guys, that's, that's pretty much it. Honestly, it just takes a few minutes, but it's super important to get this right the first time, especially when you're growing your beard out. If you get this line right the first time, as you grow, your beard is gonna look great. If you have this line too high as your beard grows longer, you're gonna realize that it's too, too high and then you're gonna have to either play catch up, shave off, start over, which I don't recommend doing, uh, but you're gonna need to reset it and readjust later. So keep that line low, keep it on the neckline where it's supposed to be, I know it may seem simple, guys, but we hear from you all the time that this is a big issue and we see it all the time. And it's amazing the difference that, that it makes, that little bit in terms of how full your beard is gonna look with the additional neck hairs. So hopefully you found this helpful, guys. I know there's a lot that comes into trimming your beard, right? Fading and, and all these different things. We're here to support you. We've got tons of other videos to check out. If you have any questions specifically, shoot us an email to support at livebearded.com. Send us a picture of your beard and we can actually show you where you should trim your lines in to help out. So hopefully you found this helpful. Let us know if you need anything at all here at Live Bearded. Our mission is to help beardsmen look, feel, and be their best. So let us know how we can support you. And as always, Live Bearded, brother.